Hello everyone and welcome to this series on how to draw great art. Before we start, of course, if you haven't already subscribed, could you do that please? That would be fabulous. And also, ring that little bell icon if you want to know what's coming up next. Okay, well, the great art today is one of Van Gogh's most famous paintings, Starry Night. And I've actually drawn the rectangle shape of it. And up in the right hand corner here, I've just started off by drawing the crescent moon. Now, you see, I've also drawn this uh, circular shape around it. The reason I'm doing that is because every one of the stars in the sky and the moon has a kind of halo shape around it. So that's why I've started that like that. Now there are 11 stars and one of them is up here in the corner. There's one there with its halo round about it. Now of course Van Gogh used lots of lines in his painting, very expressive, you know. His brush strokes kind of followed the shape of the objects he was drawing. Like for instance when he drew the star, there's another star there, a circular shape, uh, you would get the brush strokes going around like that and creating the halo. Okay, there's a small one up here. That's three, there's a halo. There's another one here. Uh, but there, there's its halo there. And one here, right beside it. Another halo, like that, one over here, with another halo like that, okay. Another couple down here, but um, I'll put them in in a second. I just want to put in one of the other main objects, which is the cypress tree, which swirls up here. Oh, it's like it's uncoiling itself. You get a big swirling shape, which points up into the sky like that, and swirls down. Van Gogh painted this from memory, actually. A view from the window of his sanatorium in the south of France. Now, there we have this shape coming down there. Almost like flames coming up. See that? These kind of pointed shapes coming up, curving and twisting around, quite writhing like that. Another one coming in there. And coming out the bottom, like that. And more coming out there, one just about there. I'll fill in the central shapes um, later on. I want to move back up to the sky now. There's another star with its halo coming in here. Okay. And then swirling across from here is a great massive cloud shape, which comes like this. I get curved in it curls in itself, like, almost like a wave. See that shape there? And then kind of joining into it, there's another shape here. Like that. With its tail curled around in itself. Like I'm using dotted shapes, serrated shapes like that, because Van Gogh used very few thick on broken lines, he did for the lines of the mountains and so on, but for the sky and the clouds, he uses lots of you know broken lines like that. Okay, now there's another star down here. This is Halo. And one just to the left of the cypress here. That's Halo. And another one here. Now I've got 11 of them on this one. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Aha! There's one missing. Oh, I know what it is. It's up here. <laughs> Just tucked in here under that cloud swirl. There's 11. Okay, so we see the, the pattern. Now below that there's another big cloud swirl which comes in about here. And cuddles across. Oh, it's like a drift of smoke coming across like that. Hmm. And actually, from this point here, it's, it uh, appears just above the mountain shapes which Van Gogh put in. Now, he, again, he used a very swirly shape for the tops of the mountains, curled like this. I kind of simplify because, again, he's, he's drawing from memory, you know. And as I come down here, there's actually a the steeple of a church that pierces that line there. It comes in a long, thin line like that, see? And then that swoops down and behind the cypress and appears over there and there's another line of mountains swooping in like that. And the kind of lines of the hills and then there's kind of tree shapes, rough, very rough tree shapes down there. Okay, uh, the actual church itself is in about here. 
little roof shape coming in like that and another roof at the front just indicating though just now I'll put this in more detail later like that it's kind of they're kind of jumbled all these shapes down here you know Van Gogh wasn't uh, bothered really about get a thing to look at the actual village, just want to get the sensation of it, you know, the, the, uh, the emotion of it, the feeling of it, you know, uh, or the expression of it. I mean, that's uh, the style that he painted, an expressionism, an expression of his feelings. Almost like a tumultuous, and there's a line of trees coming in here that calls almost like a snake, goes up like that, curls down behind the church like that. And disappears over that hill there and over here there's another line of hills which comes in about there like that another bump about there and that swoops down again behind the church spire and about there and over here we have another line of trees it's a simplistic kind of shape and bumpy lines coming in there and uh, he makes them much more expressive by putting in his, the brush lines, you know, which I'll do, as I said, later on. There's another little house down here, roof shape, very rough window and door shape coming in. And over here, I think he just kind of painted slab shapes eventually over in this part. He didn't want to bother about drawing actual house shapes. I think you may have a one with a slight kind of door or window shape there. And then another one coming in there. And then we have more simple tree shapes appearing in here. And there's also a roof shape coming in about here. Like that. Another one just below it. Again, kind of pointing up at an angle there. Okay, now we can start to start to put in the uh, the lines, you know, the, the lines that follow the shapes of the of things he's drawn. Okay, we'll start with these halos, and uh, just a few lines again, following the curve as it comes around like that. Okay, inside, but leave it fairly light in there. We're going to put more work on the actual sky itself because the sky was dark and these stars of course are, are bright and meant to start out against the background. So these dots should just be just a few to suggest his brushwork. Okay, I've drawn the brush lines, you know, these broken lines following the, the shapes of the halos. And now I'm going to move on to the lines in the sky. And again, the lines follow these shapes. For instance, as you come around here, the lines kind of almost like spin off as if they're thrown off that curve, you know, and then they follow this big one coming down here. So these lines in the sky behind that cloud will continue like that. Okay, and especially around here, they continue like that. And as they come down here, they kind of join on to this line. So I'm spinning off this one, you see, coming around there. And all of these lines are coming around here. So I'll put the main ones in, and I'll continue and do that, like that. And I'll catch up with you when I've done it all, okay? Right, as you can see, I've carried on working in those lines all over the sky, just patiently darkening down the whole areas so that the stars stand out against it. So you can keep on doing that as much as you like, you know. It builds up a nice quality. You know, I can imagine all those hundreds and hundreds of brush strokes that Van Gogh used. Okay, I'll do a bit more than that later on, but at the moment that's fine. Uh, I'm going to now work on these swirling cloud shapes and they're lighter than the background uh, so you don't put too much 
of in the way of uh, those lines, but you still follow the shape, you know, because that's what Van Gogh did with his brush strokes. There's a few things like that coming in and going around there, and also coming around this way too, following that line right around there. Right, I've been working on the cloud shapes, and I got that swirling cloud coming around like this, and just put a bit more weight on the outside edge to make that stand out a bit more. Move on now to the cypress and all the lines that he used follow again the shape that he's drawn there, the swirling, almost tortured shape. So all these brush lines will come in like that. They're a bit more, well a bit longer than the ones up here. These are much shorter. But these lines here are slightly longer and say so they follow the shape of the twisted cypress all the way down. So I'll carry on doing that. Okay, I've been working down the cypress tree, putting the shapes in, you know, following again the outside shape all the way to the inside and then going over it with more pen lines. Okay, I can darken that down later. I want to move across now to these shapes here, the mountain shapes, and Van Gogh used quite a heavy line around these shapes, so I'm just going to thicken that line up, and also along here, along the top of the trees, and also round about the shapes of the houses. Right, I finished thickening up these lines. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some of the expressive lines in on the mountains and the background here. So starting with the uh, this shape here, the mountain shapes, uh, a lot of his brush strokes go down like that. They don't actually follow the line down because it's given the impression of a cliff, I think. Or steep sides if you do the brush strokes or the pen strokes that way, okay? Uh, he does it a little bit there, coming up the flank of the mountain, the back of it, and then coming over the side, he follows it coming down that way, but you still get the sense of the, the slope, okay? And then he reverts to go around the shape along here, okay? And also what he does is he puts some more lines following the shapes of the trees and so on, right along here, okay? So I'll work on that, and also some lines down on this line of hills here. Okay, I've just finished darkening this part of the mountain down here and a bit more work down here to take that back as well. It's fairly dark. Okay, and I think what I'll do also is a bit more work round about the clouds and the stars to make them really stand out, but make sure that I follow the lines that are put in which uh, themselves follow the lines that Van Gogh used himself with his paintbrush. Okay, so I'm just going to work over that and bring that sky down, but make it slightly darker. Okay. Right, well, I'm just finishing off the sky now, darkened that down a bit. Hundreds and hundreds of little strokes like that. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. hope you can join me again for another tutorial. But in the meantime, of course, all the best and happy drawing.